Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit of God. You are welcome again to this service. Today I'm talking about the symbol of the Holy Spirit. You can call it metaphor. But before I go into these symbols, I will talk briefly on the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a member of the Godhead. Of the Godhead. The Holy Spirit is a third in Trinity. It's a spirit of promise. It was the one Jesus was talking about when he said, when he was going away in the book of John 16. If you look at the book of John 16, chapter 7, John 16, verse 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient that for you that I go away. And if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Verse 8. When he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Verse 9 says, of, of sin, because they believe not of me. Verse 10 says, of righteousness, because I go to the Father, and you shall see me no more. This was the promise of the Father. Before Jesus went to the Calvary and ascended into heaven. That's the Holy Spirit. It's the Spirit of God. It's the Spirit of promise. It's with each and every one of us today. If you are born again, praise the Lord. But today, we're talking more of the symbol, the metaphor of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is is a person. But in many verses in the Bible, it was re referred to as water. Let's look at the book of John 7. John 7, verse 37. John 7, 37. John 7, 37 says, That great day of the feast. I want to read it from the Bible. I don't want to quote it off my head. Thank you, Lord. In the last day, that great day of the, of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If any man test, let him come unto me. He that believeth in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water to quench the taste of life, to release joy unspeakable that is full of glory in your inner man, to quench that taste, that desire is able to quench it, is able to fulfill it. That's one of the symbol, water. In other place in the Bible, John, John, you all know the story very well. John chapter 4, when Jesus made the woman smile down by the west side. John chapter 4, praise the Lord. Verse 13 says, Jesus answered and said unto her, Whatsoever drinketh out of this water shall not thirst again. Let me sing to the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. He is a comforter. He is a healer. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. He's able to quench whatever taste. No matter how tasty you are, the Holy Spirit is able to quench that taste. We all know that water is energy. It is satisfying. The Holy Spirit is satisfying. Over 60% of the body contains water. So the Holy Spirit, if you really imbibe in the world, it has been given to you at the first day 
we got born again. The day you got born again, the Holy Spirit comes. It's you that now relate with Him, study the Word of God prayerfully, having a relationship with Him. He comes and I make an abode inside of you and stays there. Praise the Lord. It's a symbol of what the energies. We all know when you are short of water. Dehydration. What do you need? You need water. When you are dehydrated spiritually, you need to boost the Holy Spirit to praise, study, so satisfy the thirsting of your soul. Because our soul yearns after the living God. That's what the psalmist says. Praise the Lord. He yearns after the living God on daily basis. Water is one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit. Another symbol of the Holy Spirit is fire. Praise the Lord. This can be taken from the book of Mind You Three. Mind You Three. Thank you, Jesus. Mind You Three, chapter 11. Mind You chapter 3, verse 11. Praise the Lord. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is smarter than I, whose shoes are not worthy to bear. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He will baptize you with Holy Ghost and with fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. It cleanses, it purges. When it passes through your heart, it burns those chaps, those sins that does not represent God completely. It burns it completely out of you. Praise the Lord. That's the fire of the Holy Ghost. If your heart ye to him, it doesn't force you. It's a gentle, gentle person. Praise the Lord. In the book of Exodus, that's the Old Testament, Exodus 3. Exodus chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. We all know the bunny bush. Exodus 3, 1 to 5. Now Moses kept in the flock in Jethro, his father, and in, and in father-in-law, the priests of Midian, and led the flock to the best side of the desert, and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire. The angel appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of the bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I now turn, and Moses said, I will turn aside and see this great sight. Why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. And he said, Draw not nigh either. Put thy shoes off from the feet of the place where you stand. It's a holy ground. A flame of fire, bunny bush. You all know the story. So one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit is fire. Praise the Lord. We know also in the book of uh, First John, First King. Praise the Lord. First King. We all know the story. Elijah, the God that answered by fire. First King, chapter eighteen. When the prophet of Ba was contending with Elisha, Elijah, he called down the fire of Matkame. This can be found in the book of First King 18. The God that answered by fire, let he be my God. You all know the story very well. The God that answered by fire he is my God. The God that answered by fire. He is my God. The God that answered by fire 
He is my God. Elijah called down the fire in the book of First King 18. And the fire came down and consumed the sacrifice. He placed it on the back. He said, you call your God, I call my God. He called his own and God answered by fire. So one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit is fire. Holy Ghost, fire. Thank you, Jesus. The God that answered by fire is my God. The God that answered by fire. You are my God. The God that answered by fire. You are my God. The God that answered and God really answered by fire and consumed the sacrifice. I did not knew is the God that answered by fire. Our God answered by fire. Whatever it is, cut down the fire. God will answer. He answered by fire. Another symbol of the Holy Spirit is dove. Praise the Lord. This is taken from the book of uh, Matthew 3.16. Matthew 3.16. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 3.16. Are you there? Matthew 3.16 says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight out of the water, and lo, the heaven were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. Symbol. It doesn't mean it's a dove. The Spirit of God is not dove. It's not, it's just a symbol. Descending like a dove and lightning from unto him. And a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am where please it came in like a dove to show to the people standing that is there's something special about our lord jesus christ he is the son of the living god a voice from heaven did this say voice like a dove spoke it was the voice from heaven that dove was just a symbol praise the lord the holy spirit is not a dove but a dove is one of the symbols. A dove is a gentle, it's a gentle spirit. It's a very humble spirit. It's a very humble bird. A sign of humility. God wanted to show to the people there that this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Praise the Lord. I pray that God will manifest himself in your life. Through infallible proof that the world will know of a truth. You are a chosen one of God in Jesus' name. Luke 3, 22. Luke 3, 22. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape, like a dove, in a bodily shape, like a dove upon him. And a voice from heaven came, which said, Thou art my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. He came like a dove. The Holy Spirit is not a dove. It's a symbol. It is a symbol. That's what the Bible says. But the voice that spoke, spoke from above. That was the voice of the, of the Father. And this is it. So that people around will know. This is the one I have chosen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. John 132 says the same thing. I'm just referring to scriptures. This Jesus said, The words that I speak, they are spirit, they are life. This is the word of God. I believe in saying it as the Bible says it. That's why I'm reading it so that you will know, understand what I'm saying. Thank you, Jesus. Um, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, ever-living God. Thank you, the Holy One of Israel. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I worship your name. Our God is an awesome God. The Spirit came like a dove. He spoke from heaven. He spoke from heaven. This is it. 
as a signal. This is it. Don't doubt him. This is my chosen one. And John bear records saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove. It abode upon him. He rested upon him like a dove. Everybody to see. If they have heard a voice, maybe they think something is going wrong. Or maybe he's the one speaking. But there was every indication, both physical and spiritual, to show that this is it. And I saw this, and John bear record saying, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and abode upon him. It abode, abode upon him. Upon him. It came upon him. So the Holy Spirit, the one of the symbol of the Holy Spirit is dove. We all know dove is meekness, humility. If you look at the book, in, in the Old Testament, when Noah went into the ark with his family, it was the dove. One of the dove he sent. The dove in the ark. He sent her. We all know the story. Not to take our time. He sent, he sent the dove out the first time he came. Praise the Lord. Let's read it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'll just read it. I will know the story very well. It's found in the book of... The book of... Uh, thank you, Lord. The book of Genesis 8, verse 6 to 12. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made and he sent forth a raven. Went forth, went forth so and fro until the water were dried off from off the earth. And also he sent, also, he sent forth a dove, verse 8, from him to see if the water were abated from all the face of the earth. And the dove found no rest. For the sole of his feet, and he ret and he returned unto him unto the ark. For the water we are on the face of the whole earth, and he put forth his hand and took and took her and pulled her into the ark. He went the first time, went around, came back. Verse ten said, and he stayed yet another seven days. He waited for seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark, and the dove came into him in the evening and lo her mouth was an olive leaf plucked off so no one knew that the water were abated from the earth came with a sign <laughs> so dove is one of the symbol of the holy spirit praise the lord thank you jesus it's one of the dove it's one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit. And there are other more, but I just decided to pick. Some use oil in form of the Holy Spirit, but this is what is applicable. There are many more. Like wine, a fisher, I'll go to one, let's talk about wine. A fisher, wine too is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Ephesians, thank you, Lord. This is an old Bible, so it's, it's not easy to open, but I love it. Ephesians 5.18 The eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ephesians 5. Ephesians 5.18 Thank you, Jesus. And be not drunk with wine, where in essence, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be not drunk in wine. Wine is one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit. Rain is also a symbol. Can be found in the book of Psalm 72, verse 6. Hosea 6, verse 3. Oil is a symbol. 
First Psalm 16, verse 3. Verse 13, 1 John 2, 27. These are symbols of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. He is the Spirit of truth. He is the Spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the grave. So that these are the scriptural symbols. There are more. These are the ones I'm sharing now. The one I've shared so far is the one I'm sharing. There are more. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will give us a deeper understanding of who the Holy Spirit is. To really embrace Him and love Him. He said, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. I love the Holy Spirit a lot. But I was brought into the fold by the Holy Spirit. So nobody witnessed to me. So I love the Holy Spirit. I embrace the Holy Spirit a lot. He has been my comforter. He has been the one that has been helping me. He has been one strength. It's my strength now. It's my teacher. It's all I have. The Holy Spirit is all I have. He brought me into the fold of Christ. Nobody witnessed to me. Chased me for almost more than five years. Keep coming and coming and coming. Eventually, I couldn't run away. I was arrested and I gave my heart to the Lord. And I thank God he has been my strength. He has been the one keeping me all these days. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on everyone that is listening now to this message. And reveal yourself to each and every one in a deeper form. In a, in a measure that their mind will not be able to comprehend. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, have your way in our life. Reveal yourself deeper to us. We open up our hearts to you today. Have your way. Blessed Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Spirit. We love you. We love you. We love you. Have your way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. This is the message. I hope you have been richly blessed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of truth, the Spirit of grace, the Spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the grave. But adventure, you are listening to me now. You have not known the Lord. You have not accepted the Lord as your own personal Lord and Savior. It is now you have to give your heart to Him. Give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's coming back again. The Spirit is there, knocking at your heart. Open up your heart. It won't cost you anything. It will even be blessed beyond measure if you give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are ready, I'm ready to pray with you. And the Lord will transform you. You will have a comforter always by your side at all times. You need him in this perverse world. It's only, you, it's only him that can strengthen you, the Holy Spirit, that can uphold you with his right hand of righteousness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just say this prayer for me. Dear Jesus, I thank you for what you have done for me at the cross of Calvary. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for shedding your precious blood for me. Today, I believe with my heart and I confess with my mouth that you, you raised, that God raised you up from the dead. Come into my heart Wash me with your precious blood and cleanse me from every sin that I've ever sinned against you. In Jesus' mighty holy name. But eventually, you have just said this prayer. There is joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. You are born again. Jesus loves you. He died for you. And you will see him in a diverse way. The Holy Spirit is in you now because you have broken the bridge. You have separated yourself from the world and said it should come into you. Yes, and it will always be the Lord of all the earth. 
is the CEO in charge of each and every one of us here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Holy Spirit.